Soldier boys! You're gonna lose the next fucking war! You Swiss! You Swiss criminal! You're gonna lose it! So these are the Swiss mercenaries. You know, they're training like mad, you know. What are they training for? Right? So this is Switzerland. Every village has a, um, a shooting range. Shut up. So here they're shooting here. There. And these are the, uh, the targets. There are the targets there. So every village has a shooting range. And they're also shooting there. It's just the next village. It's unbelievable. And every man, just before a, a couple of minutes, yeah, look, yeah. It's probably like a, uh, like a 308, the old, it's almost like a 308. Winchester and they're shooting with a two every man has a 223 Remington fully automatic assault rifle at home and at the moment they are preparing something they're shooting like mad there's no other country in the whole world where they have this yeah look there's even somebody like running next to it it's unbelievable they don't even stop. <laughs> they don't even stop, you see? Look. They don't even stop. Where is she? What happened? Yeah. They don't even stop. Yeah. So every man has this fully automatic assault rifle with a couple of mags at home and this is a um, a mercenary traditions these Swiss they they the mercenaries they terrorized Europe for many for thousands of years actually and at the moment they're preparing something with the banks they know it's going down I mean they're terrorizing the whole world they are you know all the wealthy people they've got the money here every criminal and they are um, well, they know it's going down, you know. So they are preparing something, you know, in case. And if a foreigner, which happened to me, like at um, 2011, um, on May 30th, they, um, they sent an anti-terrorist court and they said, like, like it, was, it was a triumph, you know, they, they, they walked out with a couple of kitchen knives. And every Swiss, you know, they, they're, they're fully armed to the teeth. And a foreigner, you know, he can't even have a kitchen knife. It's unbelievable. It's really t it's unbelievable how these people are evil. I've never seen so much evil in my, in my whole life. And they, the SVP Nazis having all key positions in this society. The police, the Justice Department, you know, all authorities. And, um, well, they, they are, they are terrorizing foreigners here. It's unbelievable. They've been terrorizing me and my family for 14 years. But what's important, look what they are preparing. Every village, even if it's like a 20, 20 people village, they have a shooting range. Can you imagine? Not even the cowboys in Texas having this. Look, and there, there's another shooting range. It's just the next village. And look at it, you know, look at it, it's small, they're really small villages, you know, can you imagine? Yeah, and uh, where are the targets? I just saw them before. Uh, yeah, well, the target should be there. I don't, I don't dare to go nearer. But here, you know, here's one village. Yeah, you know, real small. It's called Barry's Wheel. And the next one, you can't even see the village, you know. I mean, where is the village, you know? 
Yeah. In, in in bigger towns like Zurich, then they must have they must have like <laughs> like like hundreds of shooting ranges. Uh, this was a heavy one, 308. Or they they call it seven and a half Swiss. It's, it's equivalent to the 308 Winchester or the 762 uh, NATO rifle. Yeah. So they have this Zig with a foldable stock. Uh, I, I wouldn't like to be running there, you know. <laughs> yeah. But among themselves, you know, they have got trust, you know. They're completely, they're so organized. They're so organized. And at the moment, there's a, um, there's a high concentration of, uh, of army movements and of, of shooting. They know it's going down with the banks, uh, with which they're parasiting on the whole of Europe, sucking it out on America, sucking out the US economy. And they are preparing now for the worst because they know it, you know. And I've got threats by the Swiss police, murder threats, and by the uh, Swiss justice authorities, you know, the, uh, the Justice Department, that they're going to finish me off like they did with uh, Wolfgang Umfogel, the guy who sold, who sold um, a banking CDs to Germany and he wanted to, to sell it to the IRS, to America, so they killed him. Last year, 2011, 2010, sorry, they murdered. He got suicided. They suicided him. In a, inside a Swiss prison in two weeks time only and uh, well think about Mr. Odinsov you know he had his um, he revealed a lot of things like last year about the um, about the uh, economical and uh, military and um, political targets which are being taken on by uh, by banksters hitman so there was uh, I think Peter Odin solve. Okay, well, send in the Marines and the SES boys. Who cares? Wins. You have to send them over here, not to bloody Libya. There was the one shooting range there, and the other one is just there. Yeah, full of it. Now I got a bit closer, but I have to be very careful because they send in the police very quickly. So these are the Swiss mercenaries, there they are, who terrorize the whole of Europe, who are sucking out the economies of many countries here. I must be care very careful here. Very, very careful. Because I got murder threats. Even some kids on a bicycle, it's unbelievable. I wouldn't, wouldn't like to be on a bicycle here. Yeah, and the police told me the next time they're going to arrest me for making my vids, for God's sake. The next time they're going to arrest me, they're going to squeeze, squeeze the trigger. That's what they told me. So, I'm near to a lot of triggers here. Um, so don't believe all the... Um, all the propaganda, you know, like uh, Heidi films and all that, and clean Switzerland, <laughs> because it definitely isn't. You know, I, wouldn't like, I wouldn't like to be cycling there. And... Um, this is the oldest dictatorship in the world, actually. It is. It is. And they're so organized. They're so organized. It's unbelievable. In the village, the guy, the guy in the car is probably taking his cell phone and calling the guys to give me a hit. There's a target on the hill. He's a foreigner, like, you know, this is why they do it, you know? This is how they, and then they say it's an accident. Or they suicide somebody. Yeah. So this is called Matt Staten. Matt, like death in Arabic, or uh, checkmate.
mate Matt. Okay, I think I think I have to go now. It's getting dangerous. I see the police coming up. Okay, bye guys.